Hello, I'm Sean Insane in the game, and if welcome Swansea back to Vampire. Attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. We have just had our meeting with Dr. Swansea, and with all the information he has given us, let's continue our search for the killer. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Okay, okay, I'm not saying you're lying, but I don't believe a bloody word you're saying. So I think you're hiding something. I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. I really think you've got your job confused with that of a politician. You're a bloody barman. Your Goodbye, job is to Mr. get people Watson. drunk. Okay, no luck. Let's try another approach. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? You can't handle... What do oh, you no, mean? not now. I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Finally, we are getting somewhere. But what has scared us so much? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Only if he bites you, my dear. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. I would say just dead. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Okay, ma'am, let's hear the whole story. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. And I bet very deadly. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. You again. What can I do for you? Well, you're not going to like this, but I'm going to get the truth out of you one way or another. And Tom, I've chosen Vampiric Force. Talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Oh, finally, now we're getting somewhere. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Bloody hell, he is a politician. Who is he? William. Well, yes, Just bloody William. A sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Right, I don't seem to be able to find the option, but I want to say he is now a bloodthirsty vampire. But I do want to know more about him, I suppose. How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. Well, you are friends and friends share, and he wanted this to share your blood with yeah. him. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. No bite, you say? I'm not too sure about that. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? So we're getting closer to finding this murderer, and I have no doubt now it's William. Well, I think so. I'm not the best or most well-known Victorian detective. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? Okay, one thing at a time. First find the murderer, and then we can sort out my troubles, and the city might be a bit of a bigger problem, to be fair. I'm not saying we can't sort it out, but I need to prioritize. You know what? I'm starting to think we've found what I'm looking for. Yep, this looks like the place. Or it was just a bad shaving accident. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. I know, most of it was on the floor. This man was armed, 
He tried to defend himself. Well, he didn't try hard enough. I mean, look at him. What's this? Some sort of note. So, what were his orders then? 30th of October. G. McCullum. Two dock patrols. Object. Multiple deaths in the dock region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Oh, come on. That's uncalled for. I'm only just getting used to being a vampire and calling me a leech. Locate the beast. Beast again. Really uncalled for. Purge it quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, this vampire is very dangerous. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. So, I'm still in the search area, and I think... What's that? Okay, never mind. Onwards. These men... They're a company of professional vampire hunters. And for professionals, they're doing a really good job. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. After draining this man, I'm surprised he had any room for gin. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Well, I know how I'm getting there, and that's Blink to the rescue. No, sorry, I don't mean Blink. I mean Vampiric Jump, obviously. Oh, what's going on here, then? Opportunity attack? Well, okay, if you insist. Uh, remain silent? Do I have to crouch or just walk behind him? Oh, okay, well, that seemed to work. And now I want your blood. All of it, please. No, okay. Well, how about just I kill you, then? And thank you so much for being so accommodating. I mean, just thank you so much. And what do we have here, then? Oh, lots of bullets. That's good. I haven't used a gun, not even once, I don't think. Maybe it's something I need to start doing. I'm sure the vampire hunters would like that, though. I like to get close and personal. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Well, this has got to be a little bit different. I mean, it's I'm locked. no expert and I don't know how, but this, compared to a war, a little bit different at least. Right, I can hear the next victims of my bloodlust. I'm starting to sound like a bad vampire, but I'm not sure where they are. Oh, wait. He's over there. I see you. Uh, do you see me? I can see you. Why can't you see me? Over there! There's one in there. Well, that was just a little bit strange. Unless I'm invisible. I don't think I'm invisible. Unless that was just one blind vampire hunter. You don't think you'll see us back here again? <laughs> well, good news. I'm here to prove you wrong. And blood spare. God, you're taking some punishment. And dodge. Dodge. Oh, dodge again. And, oh, should have dodged. Right, time to die. And I'm a little hungry, so thank you. And finish you off. Right. Okay, that seems to be it. Well, for now, at least. And what do we have here? This all looks a little bit suspicious to me. Hello, time to meet your maker. I don't mean me. I will not be making you. I mean your god. You know your maker. Oh, never mind. Just die. Stop shooting me. Okay, okay you're next to go. Oh, bloody hell, okay. No, I wasn't expecting that. Stop shooting. Oh, bloody hell, heal yourself. Um, yes, that's a good idea. Okay, heal. Will you stop shooting me? Okay, finish you first then. And now it is just you and me. Do you fear me, human? You should fear... Bloody hell, he just shot me. Okay, just die. Okay, so they were just a little bit more of a challenge than I was expecting. And he ruined my bloody monologue. How rude. I didn't kill you, did I? So who the hell are you? Oh, okay, a note. New practices and new tactics. I know some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in the fight against the leeches again with the leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down when they hid, powerless in their sleep. 
Oh, bugger. Can they really do that? This is a rookie mistake. Apparently not. First, because vampires are clever and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. I really need to learn them. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill intruders in what they consider the most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they really are vulnerable. When they hunt at night, bugger. It is much easier to attack them then, for they can be easily spotted. That's why the guard of Pruin must evolve and deploy new tactics to hunt the leeches, small and mobile patrols, tactics based on technological advantages, modern communications. We can learn many things from the war in France, new strategies, new equipment, and new weaponry, grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrowers. Bloody flame. It is time for the guard to embrace the 20th century. From A New War by George McCollum. Okay, so he's the leader, so I'm betting we meet him at some point. Right, this way, I think. Oh, hello. Sir, step away. So, you're not interested in me? No? Okay, no problem. Aha, hello again. This time you can't see me. Well, time to die, I'm afraid. And some extra swings just to make sure. Yep, he's dead. There's a hell of a lot of blood here and it all seems to go over the bridge. What the hell was that noise? I think I'm getting close. Hang on, who are you? And more importantly, how the hell did I miss you? Okay, it's time for you to meet your friends and your maker. God, not that again. And time to die, my hunter friend. See? Dead. And I have a bit of a funny feeling that I'll have to go that way. Let's just call it a gut feeling. And we have a locked gate. Do not try the locked gate. It is locked. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. I seem to be getting slightly excited with all the blood around. Hang on, someone else is talking. I'm not alone here. And that is a lot of blood. But also, I think this is the place I need to be. Whoever is in there is also talking to someone else. Must have more. Oh, dear God. oh, it's William. Please stop. Hang on. That's an axe or something. And that's now mine. You are my last and dearest friend. Locked gate, so I will leave that alone. This place reeks of bloodshed. Oh, good. I'm in the right place then. Please let go of me. I could have a look around, because I'm not really in that much of a rush. This creature is bedeviled. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I'm about to fight anyway. Oh, well, never mind. Right, my tactics are dodge, dodge, and dodge, and keep my distance, then rush in and hit him hard. And then dodge. And when I'm close, oh, please make sure I hit him. Oh, hang on. Blood spear. Oh, that done some good damage. And just keep moving and all will be good. Hit him in the back. And back off again. All going well at the moment. And blood spare. Few more hits and that's that. Okay, so who are you then? Let me go. William was an honourable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, 
Listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I think this one's a I'm little a mad. Doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. But he's dead. With I mean, he was dead already, but even deader now. Um, thanks. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, touche. When you're right, you're right. And gone. And where was I? Oh, yes, the madman. I could leave him. I'm kidding. Leave all that blood behind. Don't be silly. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Oh, right. I was about to feed, but now that's out of the question, isn't it? Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Yeah, thanks, Just mate. Give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Ah, good point, son. I forgot about moment. that. Um, do I? If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Oh, okay. Apparently I do need more time. Okay, to do what? Well, there's the corpse. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. So, I'm off with the good doctor to the hospital then. Where are we headed? The hospital then. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. See? It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain and victim. Busy man then. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Ah, yet another mystery for me to solve. Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Uh, yes, are Dr. you all right? Okay, keep going. Marvelous. Yes, marvelous. I'm about to work at the hospital, aren't I? Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. Yes, I'm working at the hospital. Fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. Get to the point, offer me the job. That word again. Hang on, so what the hell's that man, man doing science. in the background? I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among... Do you think he was all right? I mean, Paul he was acting a little bit strange. Well, study. stranger than most people There's in this game. So much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Sorry, I was not paying attention. That man distracted me. Um, what were you saying? Could you start again? Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. There you go, the hospital. I suspect you're to be not fair, by the looks of me, I think I need the hospital. To contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, 
take a moment to consider? The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. At the moment, the clean clothes seals the deal for so, me. What do you say? Give me the clothes and I'll work at the hospital. I mean, look, it seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. And I think this is a great time to end this part. This has been Vampire. Please watch next week's episode. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to never miss a video. And leave a comment below or on Facebook or Twitter with all the links in the description. I'm Sean Insane in the Game. This is Vampire, and I'll see you all in the safe zone.